Good morning, everybody. It is Taylor and it is a little after six. I am going to bring you with me today to explain what I do on a daily basis and honestly, just give you a better sneak peek at what I do uh, every single day. So with that, I just got up, I let Arthur out and I'm in the kitchen right now to get my water and then I'm gonna head upstairs and <laughs> get my face ready. All right, so first step, dry shampoo. I'm using this because it smells good and it works really well. So dry shampoo, uh, check. Usually I work out in the mornings, but this morning I was on the wait list for Orange Theory, so I did not go. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Just like so much better. All right, next up we gotta treat these curls a little bit. So I squirt some stuff on it and call it good. So I'm gonna use this stuff, Cocoa Dew, mm-hmm. Do you want some, mm-hmm. This first meeting that I'm going to is a meeting with the one of, oh, <laughs> I totally missed my hair. Why is everything harder on my left hand? My meeting today, right now, my first meeting at 8.30 is with an investor, one of the investors. Okay, I'm pretty sure I do this to myself every single morning, but I got caught up on the phone. <laughs> I ran late with getting my makeup on and now I have to be at my meeting in like, less than 10 minutes and it takes me 12 minutes to get there. So you're gonna come with me in the Tesla to <laughs> watch me speed through town. Walk through my lovely water damaged house, grab the key. Okay. Okay, so the whole driving and recording thing is not going very well because I don't have a specific holder in my vehicle for this camera, so great. Anyways, first meeting of the day, 8.30. I am four minutes uh, away from that meeting and I'm five minutes away from the location on my, um, on my thingy. So you know me, I'll be flying in. I'll be coming in hot, baby, coming in hot. And that's the way I like it because, you know, better to be there than to be square, I think is what people say. I was gonna say better late than never, but I also don't, I don't like that saying because I don't think I should be late. I don't think people should be late. I think that being late is a sign of disrespect and not only to the person you're meeting, but to yourself mostly, that you can't keep commitments to leave the house at a certain time. Oh. <laughs> To leave the house at a certain time, to do what you're supposed to do when you said you're going to do it. So anyways, off of my rant for that. And it's gonna be a great morning. It's gonna be an awesome morning. So I'll let you know what happens. All right, meeting number one is finished. I just got back and I am like so excited. I feel like I say that all the time to you on YouTube, but it is very true. Um, this last meeting that I went to was with an investor, with a money person, and honestly just having real conversations about the properties and the deals that we've got going on and just trying to figure out how to make all of the numbers work. That is where I'm at in the process, where we're at in the process is tweaking things here and there to try to figure out what the cash flow is going to be if we do end up going through with it and just figuring out best case scenario and worst case scenario. And I know that we've talked about lots of different things about real estate, but I think specifically our end game, mine and Michael's end game is to do this for the long term and to buy and hold properties and to be uh, very smart with our decisions on maintaining great properties and having great renters and all of these things kind of combined as one. So that meeting today was was a really big deal because I'm honestly looking forward to creating more relationships as well with people in regards to every aspect of my life, but also with real estate specifically for this last meeting. So uh, next step for this one is to bring some additional numbers to the owners of the different portfolios and properties that I'm looking at to purchase and run through some scenarios with them. So 
with real estate, it's always nice because you can be really flexible. So it doesn't always have to be one plus one equals two. It can be a combination of all sorts of different crazy creative things to make it work. So meeting number one is done and now I'm headed back to my office to get some work done before my next meeting and I'll keep you posted on my 1030. All right, so I am sitting in my driveway about to head to my second, oh, my third meeting of the day today. Um, my second meeting was an interview with the person to join my team and to get started uh, with another assistant. She will be part-time, so I did offer her the job. She accepted everything is good to go. So I'm very, very excited about her. She has incredible energy that really aligns with the rest of me and my team. And like I said, she will be starting part-time, but looking to eventually shift into full-time uh, as time and training allows. So I'm like so excited because I really enjoy having busy days, but more importantly, I enjoy having productive days. So busy and productive are such a great combination. So anyways, I am sitting in my driveway right now and I am about to head to my next meeting, meeting number three. I'm going to a coffee shop to chat with a connection, somebody who I've never actually had a full conversation with before, but um, we're going to talk about real estate investing and honestly just continue that conversation and grow that relationship with that person as well. And you never know where it's gonna lean to or where it's gonna go. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to that to get another perspective on investing and other ways to multiply money. So I'll keep you in the loop after that. Okay, everybody, yesterday 100% got away from me and that is no excuse, so I'm here to finish my video from all the things that I did yesterday with a quick recap for you. All right, it's no surprise that I have lots of stuff going on kind of all at the same time and you know what, I absolutely love it. I would have it no other way. So I met about real estate investment opportunities. I met about insurance with new clients. I actually got on a new client yesterday, so that was really exciting. Uh, I also grew my team by one person, uh, hired another part-time assistant to help with all the odds and ends that happen around this house and this business and these businesses, I guess I should say. So, okay. Another thing that I did yesterday, it was actually the last thing that I did was connected and met with a partner basically of working together to work on common leads together. So not only will it be sales opportunity for them, but also for me and my team as well. So honestly, setting up different relationships like that is one of the things and one of the ways that I have grown my business is by working closely with referral partners, working closely with people who are in similar industries and expanding that. And not only getting more business, but helping more people within that same specter. So, specter? Spectrum. <laughs> So that was the last thing that I did yesterday. It was about a 45 minute webinar and honestly we dove into who our common clients are, who we're going to target, who we're going to help and essentially worked out ways to split, you know, split commission, split payments and work out an affiliate type of deal. If you were in any sort of service industry, or if you have the ability to do that, I would strongly encourage you to take a look at that because you're essentially not only asking for them to look out for you, but you're also asking them to look out for themselves. And if it's truly a combination that fits together, then it makes the most sense to do that for your clients. And for their clients. I was very excited about that because there's more power in multiplication than in addition. So we're looking at rolling that out and starting to move that along very quickly. And honestly, with the new quarter and the new month and the new everything, it just gets me re-excited and reinvigorated to continually do what I do on a daily basis. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to talk to you about today in this video is to please keep in mind that social media is not always real life. <laughs> Like, sounds really simple and really an easy concept to think about and to grasp, but it really is not real life. All of the highlight reels and all the things that people want you to see are what you get to see. You don't get to see all of the times that people are driving to appointments, all the times that people say no to you, all the times that people don't get what they want and they post about something different or something happens and it's not always shared with what reality really is. So I want you to keep that in mind and even with my social media stuff, I try to keep it real with you. I try to show you what it is all about that I go through on a daily basis and there's still people I'm sure out there that think that that my life is a fairy tale or you know whatever, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. 
But you know what I mean. I'm trying to tell you that when you see somebody who is succeeding, succeeding and excelling at a high level, that that overnight success has built has been built over years of, of work. And there's no such thing as getting to the top immediately. It just does not happen. Even people who win the lottery, that does not happen that way. They don't stay wealthy unless they have the mindset in place. So it's something that kind of bothers me because I know that there's so many people who put a lot of a lot of weight and a lot of faith into social media postings that other people are posting. So keep that in mind when you're scrolling today and anytime you're scrolling is that you are seeing what that person wants you to see into their lives. So, you know, there's the Lambos and the cool watches and whatever, and all that's great and fine, but also please remember that that's not something that you didn't, they didn't start a new business and the next month they went out and bought that stuff. It's not, that's not how it is. So it does take work, it does take time, it does take commitment, and honestly, it's a continual self-development journey that I have found that I'm on right now. And I've said it before, but I'm not there yet. I'm not even close to where I wanna be, but I am building every single day to get there. So I hope you have an amazing day. And if you would, please consider subscribing, like this video, comment, you know what to do, and we'll see you on the next video very soon.